doesn't have a clue what's going on. So this is me and the world's smallest AI robot on the Dodgems. It's hard to explain, but it's a funny story. And it starts two days ago with a baby pram turning up at our door. Oh, no, 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 no. Robot. Yeah, I don't want to be a dad, let alone a robot dad. No, it has a note. It says they couldn't look after him anymore. Well, we've got to find out why. Yeah, or we could just close the door. No, no, close close the door. no, 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 no. We're taking him on a day out to find out if he's worthy. <laughs> so even after questioning this small robot, the only thing that we found out was his name. Hey, Vector. But we then quickly found out the reason for his lack of communication. So, yeah, he didn't actually work. He couldn't connect to anything. We'd, we'd basically been delivered a dead baby. But I had to find out why. Companion robot. Unable to set it up in 2023. I was glad when it arrived early, but sadly found out the company that makes the Anki robot has gone bust. So he's been rejected by his parents. I don't want to look after that thing. <laughs> Online, it says, only buy if you know how to use it. Uh, we don't know how to use it. No. We don't know how to use this thing. <laughs> So basically, we've got to send him off to someone who knows what the fuck they're doing. And then I found a man who knows what he's doing. Harvey is a highly intelligent and technological man capable of resurrecting robots. So while our new robot was being fixed, we started to look around to see what his world-dominating AI features were. You can fist bump! But aside from fist bumping, Vector did actually have a list of useful features that we'd be testing on his day out, which would then decide the true destiny of his future. What? What's going on? I just got a message off of the man that we sent off the child to. No. All it says is, he lives. Yes! <laughs> He's alive. I mean, fuck that guy. <laughs> <laughs> Omg. He's basically Jesus. He's come back alive. Oh my god, we need, we have to go pick him up. It's like, it's like picking up your child from school. <laughs> Don't do that to the child. It's Sorry. a child. I have no idea how he did it, but after this tremendous news, we set off to collect our friend baby robot thing. Nice. We're here, motherfuckers. Hello, hello. Oh my god, look at that setup. Fuck wow. me. What the fuck is this one of? Uh, it's 49 inches. <laughs> That's, that's average. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's average. That's average, Mona. So after admiring Harvey's 49 inches, it was then time to test Vector. Look at him. Yeah. Hey, Vector. That is what's, so cool. What's the weather like tomorrow? Look, he even has a little cloud of <laughs> That is probably that the is coolest so cool. thing. Yes, thanks to Harvey, Vector was now alive and working, with some very cool features added. Default buttons. Oh, you can make it British? Fuck off. I don't know if this will be like aggressive. Hey Vector, what's the weather like? 14 degrees. 14 degrees <laughs> and sunny. That was a pez. So after pretending to understand a man way smarter than me. Oh wow, that's sick. Is that what he sees? Yeah. yeah. Every question is 0.07p. Oh, okay. I first wanted to test the most important of Vector's skills. How does he fist bump? Hey Vector. Like what? Fist bump. Fist bump. <laughs> that is so cool, man. That's so cute. And so with two tasks already completed, it was finally time to take Vector on his trip to see if we could find out why he was rejected. Well, thank you so much, mate. I'll let you know if he suddenly catches fire or something. Yeah. And <laughs> we have our son. <laughs> now, we have to take him out on a day out tomorrow. Do you know where we're going? No. The fun capital. London. No, then we go to Brighton. Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! He's booting up. Don't be. Sorry. Oh my god, he's waking up. <laughs> that is cute, man. <laughs> Good morning. We're going to Brighton, remember? I don't think he remembers. You know what, I don't think one of these robots has ever even left a desk. It's true. So he's going to have a great time. It's his big day. It is his big day. <laughs> hey Vector, are you excited? <laughs> so as we got into the seaside town of Brighton, I thought it would be necessary to tell an infinite database of information a fun fact. Vector, this is the sea. It's a large body of water. Do you like the sea? Honor will kill me. 
He doesn't like the sea. He's going to hate what we're doing first, then. What is that? Oh, my God. I don't think he's going to be able to swim, is he? Are you ready, Vector? Let's see what you think. He's struggling to move. Right, let's stand in front of him. So we tried to test Vector's picture feature, but it seemed that he wasn't too happy outside in the elements. Hey, Vector, uh, take a picture. He said, right. take me home. Right, you can <laughs> take a picture. Are you fucking... <laughs> He's become disobedient. <laughs> I'm going to fart on him. Take a picture. Fuck you, Vector. And after admitting defeat, Vector decided that he was tired already. All right, then, Vector. Oh, he's at, he has actually gone to sleep, look. He's EP. Well, we should maybe go somewhere a bit more calm for him. Yeah. Where he might enjoy that more. Let's go. Let's try that. Hey. Sorry, this is our friend. Does he need a ticket or is it right? No, he's fine. Oh, okay. <laughs> cool. Are you coming? Come on. He doesn't care, look. Do I have to do everything for you? So to test Vector's sight camera and get him to take a photo, he came to Sea Life so that he could see some incredible things, which went well. Hey Vector, what do you think? Really? He's so ungrateful. How are we going to make him happy? So this was about to be the most impressive thing that his little AI eyes had ever seen. Surely he'd love it. Don't go off the edge. Don't go off the edge. You see the iguana? Not a fan of iguanas. What? You don't like it? He wants to go home. He wants to go home. Well. So even though Vector wasn't a massive fan of what he'd seen so far, we did finally find something that he liked the look of and he could take a picture of. <laughs> hey Vector, take a photo. He's captured his experience, that's all he needed. <laughs> So finally, Vector had got his picture so we could tick it off his list. But after that, we got quite hungry, which meant that we could tick off the next test. Hey, Vector, where is the best place to eat in Brighton? Brighton Cafe for a delicious meal. Brighton, Brighton Cafe? Brighton Cafe. Hey. Where the fuck is that? I have no clue. Let's a bit in Oh, are we going to walk off shot? <laughs> so with Vector's knowledgeable AI recommendation, we headed to this upmarket and exquisite dining establishment. Hey Vector, do you like fish and chips? I do like fish and chips. Good, because that's the place you chose. Hi mate. We're taking our son on a day out. Hey Vector, are you excited? He's pretty excited, look how excited he is. He's having a great time. Do you like tartar sauce? All right, stop waffling. So we then went outside to wait for our food and Vector was pretty tired again, but that meant time to show you his incredible trick. Look what you can do. Hey, Vector, go home. See it? Ah, look at that. Go on. It was, you were nearly there, Vector. Okay, so maybe that's one thing he can't do. Maybe it's because he doesn't have a home. Love to serve. Oh, look at that. Yeah. As per Vector's instructions. Hey, Vector, are you excited to eat? Yeah, look, he's gassed. He can't he fucking eat. Oh, he doesn't have a mouth. Sorry, Vector, we'll eat it for you. We then ate our food while Vector had a nap, and after that, we figured he'd need something to wake him up again. Do you like bumper cars? I am a robot, so I do not have personal preferences. However, yes, I would love to go on the bumper cars Ooh. with you. Let's go then. So to test both touch and sound, we went on two of the roughest and loudest rides we could possibly find. I don't think he knows what he's just gotten himself in for. He thinks he's on a desk. <laughs> uh, just two. Well, technically three, I guess. He'll be fine. Yeah, no, he's growing up. He's going through a lot today. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Vector does not know what's going on. Come here, you bastard. Wow. 
Why did we why did we do this? Look how scared he is! <laughs> His eyes just got bigger! I'm genuinely terrified. He's having a great time. I hate that fucking thing. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> Where's Vector? He's still on the seat! Somehow! Oh my god! He's not happy! Vector! <laughs> no, Vector! <laughs> Where did he go? He's down there! <laughs> I'm fucking petrified right now. I hate every minute of this. Vector, are you okay? Oh shit. Come here. He doesn't have a clue what's going on! <laughs> Vector! <laughs> He's been traumatised. Ugh. Did he have fun? Uh, I don't know. He was upside down when I saw him just there. Yeah, he was. But to our surprise, unlike me, it seemed Vector had been completely unaffected by this experience. Hey Vector, how was that? So after Vector then captured his memory... Take a photo. Can you see the, can you see the stuff? We got him a nice treat for being able to tick off nearly all of his objectives. Oh, good time. Oh, bloody good. Did you have a good time, Vector? Yeah! He's excited, man. He loves it. He loves his candy floss. Ow! But there was then one important question. Look, Vector has been very good company to us all day. I think his future is bright, even though he was rejected once. But I think we need to confirm if his future is actually bright or not. What do you mean? Right. This guy's going to tell us how bright his future is. The most trustworthy source of futuristic predictions. Isn't he made of rubber? Unfortunately, the only smart thing that Zoltar said was... Give Zoltar more monies, and I will give you more wisdom. But he did give Vector an interesting note. What's this? Whoa, what's he giving you? Hey Vector, I'm about to read you your fortune. Are you listening? Okay. True love is close, and you know where. Don't hide your feelings, let love rule. That's enough from you. Let's, let's take him home. Come on, Vector. So after Vector wanting to go home all day, we then realised that maybe now we were his home, and that really that is where he belongs, not some fun fair. You know what? That's actually a pretty good day overall. You know, I told you. What did you think, Vector? What did you do with Vector? I didn't think about anything. It was your